tell a, uh, a story that I hope will help illustrate that idea of valuing someone's life from their own perspective. It is sort of an unusual concept. Um, and this the story. Several years ago, um, when we were engaged, my then fiance, now wife, uh, Ann, and I went to take my grandparents out to dinner, uh, my grandpa and granny. And so we did, we picked them up, took them out to dinner, they lived in Covington, and then uh, came back and we were dropping off the house and came in for a minute. And Grandpa said to me, I uh, said, Jeff, I want you to come upstairs with me, I got something I want to show you. So um, I followed him up the stairs. This is James Edward Butler, senior, by the way. My father's junior, I'm the third, my son's is fourth. So I followed senior up the stairs. And he took me uh, through the room where we used to do Christmas at his house and to the little shelf where he kept things you know, that were important to him from years gone by. And he pulled some out and gave it to me, and this is what it was. It's a pair of 80 meter sunglasses. And the reason that he had them for all those years is that he was an aviator. He flew fighter planes off carriers in the Pacific during World War II. And he said to me, these are the most valuable position from my old flying days, and I want you to have it. And there were, you know, little spots of moisture, I suppose, in the corners of his eyes as he talked. Uh, because we both kind of knew what it was. He was in his 90s at that point and not a whole lot longer for the for the world it was given something to be treasured to a grandson they love. And um, I did not, you know, really know what to say. So I didn't say anything. And I don't think he knew what to say either. Because what he said was they're probably worth some money. Well, you know, he's probably right. Uh, I could probably take it to an antique dealer and they might say, Mr. Butler, those are rare, I'll, I'll pay you two hundred dollars. Of course, I'm not going to sell it for that because $200 is just like what they're worth to the world, to the market. It's not what they're worth to me. Because to me, they are opening Christmas presents in that room as a kid growing up. To me, they are going fishing with my grandfather, casting Renoskis off into the pond. Uh, for me, they are tears in the eyes of my grandfather when he handed them to me. And so it is with the full value of life. We're talking about what Mark's life is worth to him, not to the rest of the world, as valuable as that may be, as much as everybody else may have loved him. The question is, what was Mark's life worth to him? To put a final point on that, um, I guess this is family day. I brought this is my father's first briefings. The question before you is, how much money would you have to put in that briefcase for Mark to say, all right, I'll give it up? For Mark to say, okay? Uh, for Mark to say, okay, I won't walk Emily down the aisle. Okay, I won't help Jake pick out a ring. I won't help any of my friends or family anymore. For that amount, I will give it all up. That's what goes in the briefcase then. And that's your burden. 